Estamos con Mark Trotter, múltiple campeón del mundo de Nueva Zelanda. Hi Mark, how are you doing? How you feel in Argentina? And uh, first of all, what do you how do you, how do you feel being here in Argentina and in South America? It's not your first visit, but uh, a new visit always bring new new feelings. Fantastic. Uh, yes, very great to be back here. Uh, this is my sixth time to Argentina, to Buenos Aires, eh, also Mare Plata y Le Plata. Um, I love being here. The coaching is amazing here. Um, that's why I think I keep coming back. Um, and uh, I think I will continue to come back over the, the next few years. It's great to see old friends and make new ones again. And uh, as always, the, the training is very difficult here and uh, of a high level. So. Está muy contento de estar acá, es la sexta vez que viene a la Argentina, pero siempre es bueno venir y retornar para encontrarse con viejos amigos y hacer nuevos amigos también. Y por supuesto el desafío de, de venir a un país con una tradición tan fuerte en el Taekwondo ITF, con un alto nivel de entrenamiento y, y lo que esto significa. Uh, what's the, the balance for this year? How was this year for you? Uh, this year turned out fantastic. Um... I was lucky uh, earlier in the year I went to Jamaica and had some seminars in Jamaica uh, with the national team. Then we competed in the World Cup in Jamaica. I competed in the, in the patterns, fourth to sixth degree, um, 18 to 35 years old. Uh, I came away with the first place, a uh, World Cup champion, for the second time. So it was a, a great experience to go back and defend the title and uh, I, I really enjoyed that. Now I'm um, here in Argentina, I uh, also have a seminar from here Argentina, I will leave to Colombia and take a seminar in Colombia. So it will be my first time in Bogota um, with Sabun Gabriel. So I'm very excited to be there and have new opportunities and start to share my knowledge with uh, the world as Argentina has shared it with me. Fue un año muy intenso para él y muy fructífero, eh, se estuvo preparando para lo que fue la Copa del Mundo en Jamaica, donde él aspiraba a retener el título en la categoría de formas adultos, cuarto a sexto dan, eh, él había ganado en la última Copa del Mundo, por lo que el desafío era defender ese título, lo cual lo pudo lograr, pudo coronarse campeón. Y por otro lado, está muy contento del seminario que brindó también en Jamaica, ahora por la visita a nuestro país. Y está muy emocionado por la visita a Colombia que va a estar haciendo en los próximos días. Eh, os pedo por el Sabonín Gabriel. Va a ser la primera vez eh, en ese país, por lo tanto está muy, muy contento y muy emocionado por, por esa visita. Mark, uh, how are you preparing for the next year championship? Uh, to a uh, just solo championship and how would you see New Zealand in in that championship? Um, me personally I am preparing very hard uh, it will be my final competition for sparring and traditional sparring and um, I will probably continue in the patterns category but the last time for sparring and traditional so uh, in 2011 I was second in sparring So I would want to improve uh, maybe one more time for the gold medal um, and traditional sparring. Uh, we are now three time world champion, uh, myself and my partner, Carl Van Roon. And uh, I would like to make it, to, to make it uh, one more time for us. It um, would be fantastic. The New Zealand team is preparing very hard. Um, we have a lot of young and new people. Uh, a lot of our older competitors have retired. So it's a new challenge for me being a senior member of the team and uh, helping the team is fantastic and uh, we are here obviously preparing for me for uh, sparring and for patterns. Uh, always I try and come to Argentina because it's close to New Zealand and the training's fantastic. So that's the idea. Mm. Mark dice que va a ser su despedida, su retiro en lucha en Yesolo y en lucha preestablecida. Quiere dedicarse de acá en adelante solamente a lo que es forma eh, y por supuesto ve a Nueva Zelanda con muchas posibilidades y él está muy orgulloso y muy contento de poder eh, contagiar con su energía y, y de poder pasarle los consejos a las nuevas generaciones. Tiene muchos competidores jóvenes Nueva Zelanda y el desafío es poder mantener el nivel que, que los ha caracterizado. También 
eh, venir acá para él desde lo personal es una forma de entrenar, no solo de, de, de brindar sus conocimientos, sino de, de aprender, por lo tanto él siente que acá también está eh, entrenando, no solamente pasando sus conocimientos. Uh, last question, Mark. Um, how do you see the, the future of Taekwondo ITF? How, what do you see uh, the, the best teams are now? Do there's any special team you like um, in the world? New Zealand. <laughs> of um, I think uh, a lot of teams that were uh, doing very well. It's natural that they lose senior competitors and they have to start again with junior competitors. I think uh, Poland had this uh, problem, Argentina, New Zealand. Um, for me, uh, some of the best countries are obviously Poland, Argentina, I think New Zealand. I think Norway is fantastic. Uh, Ireland is also amazing. Uh, at the moment, they're, they're, I think, one of the best countries in the world. Um, and they have many young competitors, so it's exciting to see uh, more and more countries that are becoming competitive uh, in so many divisions, not just one division. And now really is very difficult to become a champion of the world, and uh, maybe it's time to retire because it's <laughs> very difficult. <laughs> But um, no, it's a great opportunity and always great to have friends around the world, and I am very lucky that uh, Taekwondo has let me see the world and make some friends for life, so I am very lucky. Eh, está muy contento de al taekwondo por haberle permitido viajar alrededor del mundo y haber conocido eh, tantas personas. Eh, ve el futuro del taekwondo muy prometedor, cree que se está haciendo muy difícil eh, ser campeón del mundo, no solo en la categoría de adultos masculinos, sino en todas las categorías, juniors, seniors, tanto damas como caballeros. Eh, cree que la Argentina, Nueva Zelanda, Polonia han sufrido un, un recambio generacional a la cual van a tener que, que adecuarse. No cree que tengan problemas porque considera esos países como potencias del taekwondo. Junto a Noruega e Irlanda, quien cree él que son hoy por hoy uno de los mejores del mundo. Pero está muy contento de, de cuántos países están eh, hoy en día participando en, en la competencia. Mark, thank you very much. Thanks for coming, for your humble and for everything you, you teach to the people not only in person by your videos and everything no problem thank you very much for having me here and uh, the interview and i look forward to seeing you guys soon in argentina again nos vemos pronto